you guys on your way to lunch. I hope y'all enjoy. I don't know if there's a Jack in the Box in the tunnel, but I'm about to read a poem about Jack in the Box. Your tax money's paying for this, so. <laughs> I ruined my work shirt with Jack in the Box taco sauce. How are we living in our nutrients below us? How are we living with one dot of breath that makes a difference in how we're perceived? This is for these two ladies right here in the paint because they have jobs just like me. A man needs a woman. A man needs a woman even if he's strong. A woman to help and support and admire him. A man needs a woman to be there beside him even when he's much more powerful than you. Sometimes a man needs a shoulder to whine on. Sometimes he might need a wife on the side. Sometimes a man just needs someone to blame or a thing to think thoughts about when he's feeling small, a potential container for all his small thoughts and feelings and bodily fluids. He'll let you know and you'll be there to do it. And if you can type fast, then that's even better. They told me all that when I applied for the job and I needed money, so I said okay. Our love is like a bomb shelter baby. I like lying safe with you here in the dark, but still keep planning in case I'm left alone. Why do I hide the bright jars of pears away, bring out the dusty sardine tins, and force us to chew the bones over and over again? Checking myself for signs of mutation, so tired of running from mushroom clouds that my metaphors don't make sense. I'm like, okay, I'm dying. I'm Martha. Hello, it's Alex. We have Martha and Alex, and we're going to read them a poem about love and voicemail. This is like a uh, feedbacking. All right, it's great. He dialed me by accident, and I eavesdropped. Tiny phone in my hand, tiny time machine bringing me love from last night listening to nothing for well on 10 minutes, imagining him late in his car last night, Starry Houston flashed by out the windows. He changed the CD. This one had a slow, quiet intro. I listened. He burped a small burp. Then he spit out the window. The sounds were disgusting, but also endeared as they taught me his normal restraint on these points. That's it, see, painless. Mm. Do this again. <laughs> <laughs>